And here we go. Blue City and Indy for the second time this year. Three losses in a, in a row for Lou City. I don't even know what color jersey Semler's wearing because he hasn't <laughs> been involved. He hasn't been involved in the in the play to make any saves. So for that 73% that they've had, they've not really been clinical or creating anything dangerous. This one sent out wide by Ombi. It's Lancaster off the side of the cage. Make things count, but this is Ombi again driving forward through ball. The angle is a little bit tough. Defender does well to get across there and put him under pressure. But that's the threat that you see. When Louisville City do, at that time, Louisville City are able to get a, a grip on the game or maybe take advantage of one of the counterattacks. But this is the disadvantage that they have by not holding on to possession as long as they may like. Dia with a strike over the bar. Good chance for Louisville City in the final third. Dia just needs to get his foot, this touch out his foot a little bit more towards goal, head over the ball at least. Lancaster. Off the bar, it's loose in front, headed up by Serrano. Ownby now, and a whistle. What a chance for Cam Lancaster. An inch lower, and this is in the back of the net. Great effort there from Lancaster. Keeper was waving to his family in the stands. He was getting nowhere near that ball. Ricochets off the crossbar and back out. Nobody able to be there for the tapping, but what an effort there from Lancaster. 0-0, but... Feels like Lou City have taken some control of this match. Grindy 11 right now, so he's dropping deeper to try and get himself involved in the game. Lancaster back towards the middle. And a Lou City throw coming. Tellefson, Lancaster, Jimenez, Winder, and Adams, the five starters tonight for Lou City that did not start against Birmingham last Saturday. Dia had a good chance earlier. Crosses this one. Now Jimenez back towards the middle, and it's in! Winder, 1-0, Loose City. Everything you could do not to score it, but on this occasion, the ball ends up in the back of the net. Not the cleanest of finishes, Bobbles up off his foot, his knee, his shin pad. I don't think Danny Cruz cares as long as the ball's in the back of the net. But this has been the dominance that Louisville City have had in creating chances. They've definitely been the better team in the, in the final for despite not having the most possession. And they find themselves in the lead 1-0 at home in front of their sellout crowd right now. Struggle against the teams further down in the table. Yeah, and of course this is... Larry getting a little bit of tussle there. Thought he was going to take the throw in himself, Lowry. Oh, here's a chance. Velasquez just wide. Opportunity there for Velasquez to get his team back on level level terms. Maybe should have gone across the goalkeeper. It's not far away at all. Second ball opportunity. Tellefson couldn't quite step to it. Toach Great. able to keep the play going, though. Great delivery again, and you're just looking for that play up with that striker's instinct making the run across the goalkeeper because there's an easy tap in there. We'd love to see them be a little bit more clinical, but they've definitely been very effective. Diar cross in, punched away by Ertl. Perhaps the final actions of the first half here. Ownby got his head on it, cleared towards the sideline, and that'll take us to halftime. Tyler Gibson for Ownby. Gibson trying to find a runner. Winder couldn't quite get to it, though. Bounces up high on Dia, and then whistle sends it the other way. I think they said it bounced off Dia's arm a little earlier in the sequence. Good idea there from Gibson. Tries to deliver the ball to the, to the back post, whereas there's been opportunity a few times tonight. If Dia gambles making a run in between the fullback and the center back or coming in late at that far post, there's been a number of good deliveries into that area. Another pretty immediate giveaway by Indy. What a chance here to save by Ertl. Best save of the night for Yannick Ertl. Here's Aiden Quinn. Some room to roll for Aiden Quinn. Out wide it goes, Gonzati can't put it on target. And there was no touch, so a goal kick for Oliver Zemla. Cross into the 63rd minute. 
Lancaster right into the arms of Ertl. No bad effort. Does well to get it over the wall and then dip it on target. But Ertl was in a good position to make it look fairly comfortable. But free kicks in those. If he could just beat the first defender, he has some big targets to aim for. You have Tosh in there, you have Adams in there, you have Lancaster in there. Adams, as we spoke about, has been known for getting himself on the score sheet. Tosh, for sure, gets himself on the score sheet. And then as puts it in, and Lancaster scores! The break they needed, great delivery. He spoke about missing the first man, he does exactly that. Lancaster is in the right place at the right time. Mishak Jerome just caught ball watching here, doesn't mark the play up. Straightforward header there from Lancaster. Get himself on the score sheet. We spoke about he's been he's been on it tonight. He's been tenacious. He's been taking shots from distance. He's been working hard. And I think this goal. You're with us here for the action from Lynn Family Stadium. Sent back in by Jimenez. And lurking dangerously was Ownby. It'll be another corner for Loose City. Jimenez. Decent service. Oh, what a stop. Ertl absolutely robs Sean Tosh. All across the box here from Asante, but you see Sharpie heads this. Tosh at the back post. It's a great header from Tosh, but keeper does very well with that save. Ertl gets down well quickly. And now it'll rely on the whistle of Ricardo Fierro. Oh, Harris did well there. That should have really been a corner kick. Well, either way, it's full time.